Hello and welcome to Infinity. The LAB color model is something based on the way that the eye and the brain work in that the eye takes the RGB from the cone sensors and the rod signals as well and it translates those into it's called the opponent process model where it sends three channels of information which we're going to see in a moment into the brain and so this is particularly useful with curves you do see it elsewhere and we go from rgb here down to lab and then go down to the individual channels here the first one lightness if you do nothing else this is a really good way of controlling the tonality within a picture the black and white effectively and if i actually start off here because i've got a lot of space in here i'm going to drag over here which means those little bits at the bottom are going to go white but it brightens up the picture so you lose a little bit but this is the, what you would do anyway and then you can play around in an ordinary sort of way pull up the lights and pull down the blacks just a little bit and it's surprising how much contrast it'll bring in particularly where the got more in the middle here then this if i bring this down here a bit then bring this the other end of this then that middle section there the higher section in particular is going to get pushed to a greater contrast which is the steepness of this little bit in the middle because that's where most of the information is now then when we get more interesting if you like now we're looking at just the colors so we've separated out the tone from the color don't worry about the histogram in the middle ignore that what we first of all do is we fix the center point because if i take the center point and move it up then one way it goes magenta and the other side it goes green but if you fix it in the middle then the whites will stay white and the blacks will stay black there so to do that you get it roughly there and then the trick here then is hover over the x there roll the mouse wheel and it'll go to 0.5 if you've got it in the right direction and if you move it further it'll go just a small increment of time and this gives you a way of controlling the color so this is if you like the red green or magenta green and so one way more red other way more green so you can do it just for color control for white balance and so on when you go to the end points you can move these bone about quite a lot it's amazing where you can take these so this is not like ordinary curves with rgb because the result is not crazy even when you go kind of funny places if i'm pulling it across here by the way once it starts hitting the top up there then it's it's going to go funny here but i can still grab a bit there and bring this down here and it's not quite so bad then and if i then bounce it out here and again right click to get rid of it but what a common thing is just to use the end nodes and you can bring them across and another trick is to if you keep the line straight then it's often a fairly good way of doing it so we've we've done this and you literally look at what's happening and then from there we go to the b opponent which is one way is more yellow and the other way is more blue and we go to the center of that and just roll the mouse wheel over here to get it to 0.5 and 0.5s to keep the whites in the right way and then just move these to see what effect we get and it's, it's often quite subtle you can move it quite a long way before it gets something that's going to be you know something you like so let's put those like that and just look at the difference now before the curves and after the curves see we've subtly nudged the colors and we've improved the tonality of it so let's just quickly do another one particularly this is looking at people this is skin so again i'll go to curves and from rgb to lab from master there to lightness a bit of space in here so we'll drag that in there which will lighten up the picture and what i want here is actually this, this hats are terrible because they put shadow over the face so i want to lighten up the darks there so i can bring that up of this so there's a bit more there i don't need that on the the light so i can just bring that back down to suit there's a bit more detail coming out from there then we go to the a opponent fix the middle 
roll the mouse wheel over here to get it to 0.5 and 0.5. Play with either side, which way is look that it's looking a bit better that way. The skin looks better. I always focus on skin with people. And which way is that going to go? Now it's up, up here, isn't it? That looks better there. And we can try going to the center again here. Roll that on the Y. You can use the X as well if you like. So we make the overall picture there just a little bit warmer, or even just a tiny nudge, surprising the overall effect you get. Then go to B here, fix the middle, and roll the mouse wheel to get that right there. Play with the ends here, see which way it's going to go. You can always go back to these because it's non-destructive. And which way is that going to go there a bit? Or maybe bring this down here a bit just to... Is that going to be a bit cooler? Um, not sure. Maybe in about there, that's better. Then click on the centre one and hover over the Y. And I'm going to bring this down a bit there. That's going to make that cooler as well. So the skin's OK, but the outside then gets a bit warmer. And there we go again before and after, just with playing with the curves here. Dead easy, and the results are often really good. So that's it. LAB curves. Very, very easy. Thank you very much for watching.